Attention! Your device does not need to be rooted for this to work. Make sure that you own the games you are downloading from legal backup site. Hey, wasabi! Operation Android here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get Nintendo DS games on your Android device, and I'm going to be using DS Droid, one of the three Nintendo DS emulators on the Google Play Market to show you how to do this. So to get the asteroid, we're going to have to go into our Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and go into it. And we're going to search, of course, the asteroid. So it's D-S-D-R-O-I-D, the asteroid. And you will see that it's this application right here. And what I like about the asteroid is that the developer thought that NDS for Droid was a bit too slow. So he got NDS for Droid and made little code modifications to make it faster, which I find pretty awesome and as well as he made this emulator free compared to its counterpart in NDS for Droid which is also free but the third Nintendo DS emulator on the Google Play Market which is DSoid is $199 so this version of DS Droid that I'm showing you right here is 1.2.2 it requires Android 2.3.3 and up and to get games we're gonna have to go into our home screen and you will see that you now have DS Droid after installing it and we're going to go into our browser to get games and once our browser opens we're going to search for coolrom.com so go c o o l r r o m dot com and once you search coolrom.com it will automatically direct you to their mobile website which is completely fine because their mobile website is very easy to use and mobile friendly so from here we are going to click on ROM files and we're gonna scroll down to Nintendo DS because that is the system that we're trying to get games on and this will take us to Cool ROMs massive directory of Nintendo DS ROMs and as you can see they have it very well organized browse by letter browse by genre top 25 downloaded and top 25 rated so I'm gonna show you how to get the top rated and top 25 downloaded game which is Pokemon Diamond and so to get that we're going to click on Pokemon Diamond and of course you can use this method for any other game that you would like to get and from here we're going to scroll down and look for the download now button so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and the download will begin so I will be back when the download is done. Alright, so once the download is complete, we can go back into our home screen and open DS Droid. And now, usually, when you download a game from the browser, it will go into download. So click on download. And then we'll see here that we have a Pokemon Diamond.zip file. And of course, DS Droid plays .zip files unlike NDS for Droid so you can just go ahead and click on the .zip file and it will begin to play it but since I already have a .nds file for Pokemon Diamond I'm gonna go into downloads then I'm going to click on Pokemon Diamond .nds and this will begin the game So as you can see the game is running pretty fast, a lot faster compared to NDS for Droid or DSoid at this moment. So I'm going to press start and I am going to load a save state that I have in the game so I can show you guys how fast it runs. So here I have my, saves, uh, my saved file in the game so I'm going to go ahead and open that and I've already passed all the stuff in the beginning so that I can start my example right here from Route 201. And now a couple of things I want to point out when you're playing Pokemon Diamond for example, 
Um, the game will be slow when you first start because you won't have running shoes, but once you get your running shoes, you'll be able to navigate the game very quickly. So this is just a regular walking speed. As you can see, it's not very fast, but at the same time, it's not very slow compared to game, um, NDS for Droid. And then now, once you get your running shoes, you'll be able to run through this game at twice the speed of your walking speed, which is pretty awesome. So this is pretty fast to play Pokemon Diamond, which is definitely playable. Another few tips that I want to give you when playing Pokemon Diamond is that you can open your menu, go into options, and in the options, you can adjust the settings so that you can do some things faster. So for example, this is the settings that I recommend. Having text speed at fast, battle scenes off, and battle style does not matter, sound does not matter, button doesn't matter, it's all your preference, and frame doesn't matter, I have it at type 7 because I like green. Anyways, we can go back now, and I can demonstrate you a battle in Pokemon Diamond. So I'm going to exit out. And I'm going to go now and venture out into the grass until I get a battle. Alright, so I finally got a battle here after wandering around the grass for a couple of seconds. And now I can show you the battle speed and how a battle works. So in my opinion, I think battles in this game compared to it running regular speed on an actual Nintendo DS is at about 80%. So as you can see, these animations are pretty slow because they require more work from the actual emulator but when you are battling it's actually quite fast because it doesn't require as much work so here I am beginning the battle wild Bidoof appeared so now I'm gonna throw out my Turtwig because that is the starter Pokemon that I chose and then we can commence the battle Alright, so I'm going to turn on the touchscreen capabilities here for the battle because I enjoy battling using the touchscreen capabilities. And I'm just going to show you one round of a battle because from there you can see how long a battle actually will take. So, DS Droid has other features besides just being able to play games, and I'm going to show you these features because unlike DSoid, at this moment it doesn't have any settings or anything. So we can go in here and click here, and of course we can save a state so that we don't always have to save in the game, but I recommend that you periodically save within games. You can also, from here, choose a different ROM so play another game you can enable cheats so I'm definitely gonna make a video showing you guys how to enable cheats on DS Droid and we can also go to settings and here we have a couple of neat things so we have show FPS which is the frames that were coming out at the top so as you can see now when I go back the frames per second that were up here are now gone another neat setting that it has is that you can go into landscape mode which I like to use and I'll show you that in a second we can also turn off the sound which will make the game run slightly faster but I enjoy playing with sound so that's all about preference and that is DS Droid my favorite Nintendo DS emulator on the Android market at this moment in time Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, to see the latest DS Droid update, click on the Nexus as a screen. And subscribe for more videos like this one and on how to apply cheats on DS Droid. So click that subscribe button to join the operation.